Sonny's backpack works attached to something. Yeah. Hey. Oh, what the? This is heavy. Yeah. Yours is pretty heavy. Mine's all. They're all a bit heavy. Yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> Sonny's got a front pack too. Come yeah, on. Oh. How are we feeling? Oh, it's so much better without the front. The front piece is gnarly. You're having issues, bro. Like, right, give me a sec, give me a This is meant to be over here, I think. Yeah, behind. Got a fry pan, got a cooker, and you're allowed fires here, so we might have a fire. Can I make it? Yep. There's another, like, good three or four kilometer walk. Nearly there, eh? Yeah. Just up a hill. And then down yeah, to the... See that little triangle of light? I think you got the... From memory. You right, Sonny? Oh, it is a bit slippery. Yeah, careful. Clay. You got the double bar go. snake hole. Come this way. You alright? What's this? This is camp. Got a fire pit ready. In the morning, the sun starts warming. Oh, the sun's sun will come up here. Oh, yeah. See these? Yeah. Delicious. Are they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, time to go. I like these ones. <laughs> oh, you could definitely set it up. That is not a two-man tent. Yes. <laughs> That's a snuggle pie cuddle pot two-man tent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For you and your bro. <laughs> Wait. Parachute down onto it. Boom. This like, on the bottom. You put it underneath, yeah. Like that. How are these little mini pillows? Yeah, those, yeah. Do you like that? We're gonna get washed away here. <laughs> Proper sleeping bags. Very happy about that. All lightweight and small to hike. Whose is that? Yours. Excellent. All right, I'm set up. Sarah, you're missing a few things. Sick little setup. Yeah. Looks like a sea turtle. Looks like a volcano. You're doing Volcano? Yeah. Fishy? We're catching dinner. That's our mission, right? Thanks. Big dinner. <laughs> We're worried about the tide. Maybe not tonight to wash away, but tomorrow night wash away. Now the spinal tapping. This way though. Ooh. That's a centipede! Were you gonna touch that? Oh, I was kidding. Is it a centipede? Yeah, bright blue Senny. Oh, cool. Mate, I was about to touch oh, it. I was kidding. Oh, where? Isn't that beautiful? Don't poke it, don't poke it, don't poke it. Oh, oh God. Oh, they really hurt, eh? They are deadly. Nah, we'll, we'll move it over a little bit and hopefully Senny goes and lives back under his rock. The original rake, say, eh? fingers. Ooh, someone's left fishing line here. How's that? I just picked it up 
And look what happened to my toe. Oh, wow. You don't call it. Like, it's full knot on my toe. Interesting. If you're a seagull, bad time. Mm. Nice. We're bringing a little bit of sand up and just filling in the dirty ground so the boys have a nice little step to step onto. Yeah, super warm sand. All right, we're just pretty much moving the entire beach at this point. Yeah, that's right. Happy? Yeah. That does look way better though. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a big Lizzie, bro. Gentle with his tail, because it they sometimes. It doesn't look like a dropper, though. Oh, take it over so Sonny can look. And he's beautiful lizard, like real look solid. Look at his little scratchy toes now. Okay, release. <laughs> you would think that was a brown snake from a distance, though. Yeah. The way he look, wiggle wobbles. Look at the tattoo. Yeah, chance to set up. We're gonna go fishing. You coming fishing? Yeah. Is Kanada coming? Nah. Hey, Will. That's sick. Beautiful. Isn't it? Look at this hole, then, sir. It's a bathtub. Little crabs are clean here. I love all the different seaweeds. Deep hole. That's a proper deep hole, eh? Guess a feel? You got eight pounds. Yeah, that's okay. No, nah, that's okay. One, two, three. Just let that sink down and tweak it. Tweak. Bye. All right, give that a go. Oh, big hit, big hit, guys, big hit. Gone. Gone, Bill. Yep. Yes. Yes! Butter brim, butter brim. Oh. That was a butter brim, bro. Oh, <laughs> that was the biggest butter brim I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, let it sink and slow wind. I was just tipped down, slow winding it. Slow wind it. Oh, I did butter brim. I'm chasing it, bro. Look, you see that? The territory. Nate is on. Nate is on. Tiny. What is that? It's a trevally. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> it was the littlest thing ever. I didn't the thing. Hey. What was that? <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> I might go to the edge across up there. Yeah, we, we can make our way out there. We'll drop one down here, okay? Are you, is it my turn or yours? Oh. That's alright, stand it. Uh, let it sink a little bit and then do little tweaks. Here, Nada, come back. We'll change battery on this one and I'll give you a camera. Because at the moment, if you hook up, we fully won't get it. You all right on the slippery? Yeah. All right, dodge the holes. Okay. I get so many questions on the boat flip film. Some people were like, oh, this is fake because how could they film for so many days? For anyone curious, I'm just going to show you this. I'm only on a two day trip and I've got two of these power banks. One of these will charge 20 GoPro batteries, basically. 15 to 20. On the boat flip trip, I had six, I think, of those. And I didn't even use them all by the end of the trip. I'm pretty much set up with enough batteries for two full days of filming constant roll. For anyone super curious, these are the memory cards 512 so you can film for 10 hours on one card and underneath all of these there's more cards 
They're two, two, five, sixes. They're like four and a half hours, four and a half hours. Those power banks are dirt cheap these days. So it's basically step one of being a fishing YouTuber is being able to charge your batteries and have enough charge to film. Here he comes. What a ledge lord. Just floating. <laughs> wow. Do you reckon he'd, he'd attempt to take Sonny if he... <laughs> Sonny is by himself. Thinks it's a baby kangaroo. Me and Kanada are going to go out because it's a little bit too high tide, a little bit too dangerous for Sonny to come. And we're going to try as hard as we can to get dinner. Okay. Crunch time, Nader. Literally have to provide for the family where it's baby food for dinner. I actually buy the like little organic baby foods for trips because they're easy to eat. You don't like them, mate. Right? Well, that's Din Din. If you're not careful here. Look, a plover in its natural habitat. It's not on the road. It's not trying to get its babies ran over by cars. That's what a plover's meant to be doing. Is it? Eating barnacles. I thought they were, I thought they were field. Field birds. One sixteenth ounce jig head. Honestly, don't think I've ever used one that light before. And to make things more intense, 2.5 inch minnows are about to become two inch minnows. Going on my little finesse. Butterbrim Slayer. Dead set catching us dinner. There's no way we're going hungry eating baby food tonight, mate. Okay, I reckon I'm going, I'm going about that much off. Will I ever be able to catch a big fish ever again after using something so light tackle? I'm actually gonna trim more off of this bad boy. What have I created? Look at it! Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of a humhead wrasse at the front, yeah. but it's deviously good, I think. It's tiny. If you see a wave and Dad says run, you run back, okay? Yeah. Ooh, cold. Why did run back or why did run back? If I'm screaming for you to get out of there, just open the bail on and run. Yeah. Don't stack attack as you're on. So look, there's still big dry sections here. It's not fully washing over yet. Perfect cast, Kanada. Perfect. Good life, mate. <laughs> Is that tiny or like decent? That's a good size little yaki. Oh, wow. I think that's my first ever yaka. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a yaka. What a nice little live bait. Yeah. We aren't live baiting today, though. I got a head shake and then as I started winding it didn't drive down and do like proper anything. We're on the board! <laughs> Yakka! That's not what we want to catch though, man. Tell me if Bombora comes. Yeah, oh, I think I'm hitting, getting Yakka hits, man. I'm going to try and go over there. Come, come with me over there and we'll have a cast into that gutter there. I think very snaggle over there. We're eating baby food tonight, bro. Woo! Oh, big wave coming, Nady. Oh, big wave coming, Nady. Yeah, no, we gotta be quick, bro. We gotta be quick. Do you wanna be up here? It's actually quite precarious. I'm coming down to your level. Big splash zone. Send in. 
It's a straight line, I think. Yeah. Little tweaks. Oh. That's all that little shooter. <laughs> Am I doing overhead long one? Oh, get him. Let's get! Bro, what? Watch out, solid. Oh, sad eyes. Oh, I gotta go around. Yeah. Guys, see if I can get another. Or is that dinner? Well, that's one dinner. Oh, where am I? You have to go there, then. <laughs> oh, that's Proper fish, yakka, not so proper. Perfect little brim type pool. I'll measure him, if he's over 30, he can be part of our dinner. Hopefully we can catch a couple more fish. I reckon he might just be 30. We'll have a look. Oh, I don't think he's 30. My hunger is like telling me lies. Let's have a little look at it. Come on, mate. It's 29. I'm not going to keep a 29. Water cam? Water cam in pocket, ready to go. Out of there. All right, you didn't like that zone, did you? I'm moving over to the inside zone because this is all going under. We're going to try and catch a tailor on the inside. Last chance, Snady. Oh, you're eating baby food. The eagle hasn't found anything to eat for dinner either. Yeah. Look at these two. Are they going to be friends when they meet? They were. They are friends. That one was above it. Oh, no, that's a new one. Four friends. Sun has officially set. Canada's got this little double clutch on. Briggsy has a X-Rap SXR12. We're going for Taylor. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send one down. There's not much light bouncing around in the water anymore. Uh. Bro, I think it's... I think it's over. Oh, on. Oh, did you literally just say I think it's over? That's 23. So he's easily 30. Nader was so scared of eating baby food for dinner that he just had to catch us a tailor in the end. She's actually 37. So it's a 37 centimeter tally. We're gonna whack the fillets off, chuck it in the pan on the fire. Oh, it's still rippling. I, I've completely snapped so its fresh. neck, so it's dead, but that, that's just the nerves still kicking. Canada, have you ever filleted a fish? No. Well, yeah, sometimes. Like, not well. Dodgerly with your yeah, mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go fill up this. Just try and get most of the meat. You want to go all the way through? At the all bottom, the way. At the bottom. Yeah. And then this, you want to go down to the spine and then full flat.
That was pretty good. Flip it. Hey, that was all right, bro. That wasn't too bad. You missed a little bit down the bottom, yeah. but that's not too bad. Am I about to lose a toe? No. Pushing down, pushing. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. Uh, That's okay. Here, hold, yeah. hold this. I'll try and get a little bit off it. That should be okay. Do you want me to do this or yeah, do you want it off? Either. I'm just going to cut this entire section off. We'll eat that yeah. carefully, but we'll make a couple of boneless sections. That's all bone there. So you cut on either side of that, and that's also the bloodline. Blood blood yeah. Sever. Nice little Taylor nuggets. That'll be bone free. We'll give that to your mum probably. That'll be bone free. We'll give it to Sonny. You can have bone free over here and I'll eat the flaps. Wow, it's gotten dark. Dark time? All right. We're gonna return this to the ocean. Three at a time. Three at a time or something. Oh! Schmick. Oh, oh. I think I'm the one of them. <laughs> we'll just fast forward this. I'm gonna rinse them all and then we'll grab and start cooking, but we'll fast forward this section. That's gonna get real hot, okay, Sonny? Okay, catch. Have we got a fork? Mm-hmm. That I think is actually oh, it's already gonna cooking. yeah, it's gonna be too hot. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that off over here. That that would have been two skips, I think. Oh it's pretty hot. Oh that skin down action hopefully seals the deal on this scale. I'm flipping. Oh, we lost the skin, which is what we wanted, probably. You might be able to eat those little crispy skins. You do that with coral trout skin, and it's like chips. Yeah. Lost the skin on this one. All of them. He got a bit. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Where's the... Oh, we need the salt. I just realized. They're your guys' ones. These are my ones. First Bye. ever Taylor that you've ever caught? Yeah. Are you frothing? Mm-hmm. I'll get some salt. Sprinkle the salt. That was a fair bit. Feed, feed your mum a little bit. Nice and soft. Very yeah, nice. Is it good? Mm. Fresh. Taylor's pretty good, eh? Yeah, I really like that texture. Can, Sunny, do you want to try? Oh, that's delicious. Big bite. Blow it. Might be hot. That's way yummier than queen fish. Fresh good. Taylor. Do you like it? Mmm. Maybe a little winglet you get. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah. It's really yummy. It's strong tasting. Like or not at the same time, I'm not sure what's yeah. going on. But it wasn't a fishy strong, it was just like a strong taste. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it's good. I have some more. That is yum. Yeah. Wait, let me have a couple bites. Definitely a step up from baby food. I think we'll still have to have baby food as well. <laughs> we might need baby food too. You're making dehydrated soup though. Our friend made dehydrated soup for us to bring. Oh, that looks pretty good. What's it got, quinoa in there or something? I don't know, what's in Barley. It? That's barley, I think. I gotta rescue my fish. Okay. All right, so that's the other part of our dinner. Dehydrated soup, rehydrated, and Canada's Taylor. That was so yummy, yeah, bro. It's, it's really good. Sunny, tomorrow we'll try and catch more Taylor, eh? Do you like it? Yeah, really yummy. Pour it on. On the fire. Or will it blow up? Oh. Cool. You're cool. Don't try a bite it. Mm. Try this. Sezzy. Crispy. Yum. That was the yummiest Taylor I've probably ever had. Yeah, I To be honest. Right. So yummy. That size maybe is a really good size. Definitely going to try and catch some more fish to eat. But that was kind of the idea of this trip was to get out there, do some proper hiking, camping, eat what we catch. So far we've only got one Taylor to eat. Could add the yaka. Could add the lizard. 
<laughs> Could I hit the Senny? Could I hit the Senny? Alrighty, let's see what happens tomorrow. Beautiful. Beautiful morning. Oh look, the sun's just popping up. Like right now, it's coming up. Wow. See how quickly it moves? That was nothing a second ago, it just started popping. Well, that's the signal. No onshore wind anymore, so it's all nice and calm out there. Might as well start where we left off and throw some divers for Taylor. I don't think I can bring Sonny out there, but we can go around the corner. Sonny can have a flick around the corner. Yeah, I'm down with moving them lower for sure. I think you woke me up a few times, scritching around. Yeah, I tried not to scritch as well, not to wake you up. I just laid there like a carcass. You know how we got pretty stressed out yesterday trying to catch a fish for dinner? We've got all day to catch lunch and dinner. Oh, wet sandy shoes. To keep your head warm. Yeah, I'll give you my beanie. Pre-warmed beanie, mate. Priceless oh. out on the tip. <laughs> All right, Mama, we're going to try and get lunch. Oh, breakfast. Thank you. Or breakfast. No, we're over here, boys. Because Sonny can't go out. When it's high tide, he can't go out there. That is me, God. That'd be perfect. But I think we need two fish for each meal. So two fish for lunch, two for dinner. Take your time, don't rush. Taylor Lewis, eh? Yeah. Remember that this is all like the slipperiest thing ever, like ice skating. Oh, you got a hit? You saw Taylor? Were they cruising up or down? Ah. Uh, uh, I just saw a Tyler bus that said that. Yeah, yeah, Nadie. Yeah. That's a good one, bro. On the lid. Yes! That's a perfect tide pull for him. He would be. He's about the same as the last one. Yeah, he's like 35. The original hooks on these lures would bend out, but those little upgraded hooks are sick. He'll cruise around in there, he'll be fine. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, maybe move back up, son. Then move away from the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tuna. tuna. Son, are you, whenever you do, you stay back, okay? Because the waves, they might come in. Yep! Tuna! Big tuna! Big tuna, boys! Yeah, tuna! Long tail tuna! Long tail! I'm on a tiny setup. You're on a big setup, brother. Is he taking you? I'm gonna run. You guys stay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on a trip over. I'll be fine.
Nah, he's got it. If he thinks he can land it on that setup, he probably can. Drop that! Drop that! Long tail! Winter long tail! He nearly spooled me. I had to loosen because there was all over these rocks here. Oh, they're busting up! He was a big long tail too, not a little one. Oh, I was very undergunned, but I, ha I had a chance, eh? That's so cool to hook a long tail. This is so slippery too, running on this. You can cast over there all day and not hook another. It's just how it goes. It's very slippery, okay? Okay. Ready, guys. I'll cast for you. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I just saw damage in my lawn. Might have just been fluff. Okay, go back, son. Go back, because the sets. Oh, yeah. Tylee. It's a bit of a different fish, isn't it? How funny is that? How easily that came in compared to what I had hooked a second ago. <laughs> different dimensions. I was just trying to check if I had fluff on my line, but I think it's fine. No, I said I thought you were trying to lose the lure. Oh, on the big tuna. Yeah. It went around that rock. Oh, so, okay, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Look at them, friends. So, what happened was it started running that way and I loosened to try and turn it. Yeah. But all it did is took off that way yeah. instead of turning. So my line was like, just above that rock yeah. and that's why i was holding it up in the air ran out there and then as soon as i tightened back up and put a little bit of pressure it just popped yeah. well we got lunch oh no no it didn't pop oh it bent out it bent the hook out that's what happened i didn't even have that much drag pressure because i felt it after but it was enough to bend out this little hook devoed I'm gonna put on the big brother to this guy. So, SXR12 with tiny little hooks, bent out. SXR14. I wasn't at all planning on going for tuna, but obviously there's still some lurking, hanging around late season tuna, and the one I hooked then, I have to say, was rather large. Still, I think possible on this setup. If I could have kept the start pressure on the whole time, much better chance. So yeah, I'll just send this out. I'm not very hopeful of getting another. I think that could have been the one pot of tuna that came through. But who knows, could still hook a tailor on this as well, so. Oh, I just realized we've actually caught lunch now as well. Okay, I'm, I'm loosened it off for you, Sonny, okay? I don't think I caught it. No, no, I fully loosened it. I'm kind of getting pulled in, I know. Keep an eye on your lure. Yeah, it is Yeah, did you see that? Did you see that, Sonny? Yeah. A tailor came up and nibbled your tail. Cast the rudder. One. Nah, there's one in the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sonny. Yeah. Pump it up. Your first tailor. <laughs> Keep the pressure, bro. Keep loading it up. Pump him one. Pump him one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's big. That's a good tailor, Sonny. Come up to the edge. I've got you. Oh, here's the tailor. Yeah, pump her up. Okay. I'm gonna help you here. 
I reckon that's bigger than one of the others. Phew! Well, that spell does bump in on it. Yeah. Probably about 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30. We've got three Taylor. And we're only going to keep two of them. We don't need all three. Yeah, because that one looks the healthiest, doesn't he? That was my guy, that real clean one. I'll catch my one, release him, and then we'll keep the other two. I'm trying to catch this one. That one. And he is so fresh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's zooming. Oh, I got him. Yeah, so this one was the cleanest, healthiest, and by how hard he was to catch, definitely the one to release, I reckon. The other two have a different fate. They're coming for lunch. So I've got to actually catch them as well now. The technique was to grab at the head because then as it slides through, by the time you clamp down, it's like past. These ones look more chilled than that other guy too. Oh, maybe not. Got one. Oh, he's so sporty, this one. He's slippery. Got him. Ah. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. We're going to go back and fill at them, and that's going to be our brunch. The boys, we all got a Taylor each, and I hooked a tuna. Yeah, cool. I bent my hook out. Yeah. Oh, guys, two kangaroo right here. Big kanga. What do you think about him? Oh, I see any of that. <laughs> Big dog. Look at his muscles. Oh, he scared his little friend. His baby. Or his missus. His baby. That's probably his baby. Look, their poos are down here, so they would come all the way down here sometimes. I'm gonna find myself a nice little fillet in zone. These are all really nice flat rocks, actually. Right there. Perfect little wash pool. Oh, I might do it like a time lapse. It smells so good. Fresh. Fresh fish. Those scales last night were actually delicious on the skin. They all went crispy and great. So I think I'll leave skin on. Taylor's going on. Oh, mate, it's twitchy. He's well and truly dead, though. Completely snapped there. He's just um, nerves. I see them moving. Snails? Yeah. In the time lapse, you'll see these snails just like cruising everywhere. It looks really cool. Taylor filleted. Some nice boneless fillets in there and the belly, which has the ribs. Sonny reckons he's seen a little shrimp, which I think might be a baby lobster. But um, he's teabagging some Taylor scraps. Trying to catch a shrimp. Canada. You ready for some Taylor, mate? So ready. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm going to chuck these back in the ocean. Feed the local brim population. Possibly a couple of crabs get a nib if they hang around here for a little bit. What a nice sign to have brekkie -o. Yeah. And what's it Oil. Salt. I said oil. See how there's water? Yeah. You gotta wait for the water to disappear before you put the oil.
Can Let's, I stay with you? Uh, I'm gonna eat the wings, which are like the bony bit. You guys can have the non-bony bit. Are you gonna make tea, Mama? Mm-hmm. Drop it. With the other cooker? Yeah. These are ready. Yummy, I'm eating that. I'll get a packet of brown rice. Next bit's going in. This is mine. No, we're gonna share. Smells like the freshest fish and chips ever. Yeah. Got these like soft brown rice. Ooh. No vegetable oil. Olive oil. So that if you're avoiding vegetable oils, this one's good. The only thing toxic about this meal is the masculinity involved in catching it. <laughs> Son. Crispy skin, eh? I really want to eat just this by myself, but that's fair. Well, it's going to be a fair bit. You're going to do the rice. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is boneless. You want to try some? Yeah. Hands clean? Yes, hands clean. Oh. Is it salted? Yeah. How is it, Sam? Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Crying oh. how good it is. Cry, you're crying, that's how good it is. Hot. Yeah, the bottom parts are not hot, so the bottom came off first. Mm. Oh, wow. The bottom parts are not Way hot. Way better than last night. Better than last night. So much better. Yum! Everyone's passing the bowl around. Yum. Really good, eh? I love the crunchy. It's so good. The crunchy is really good. Mm. So this is that brown rice going in. Oh. Get all the fish flavour in it, eh? Do you want a wing, Nadi? Yes, please. Still hot? Very hot. Oh, did you salt it? Mm -mm. Mm. Bro, that's the belly, so it's like it's fatty. It's so fatty. Mm. This rice has got like a little curry flavor to it. Yeah, it's Middle Eastern, it seems. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good tea. Brunch has been hard. We're sipping on tea. Do you want to try and get a fish out of the tea bag hole? Yeah. So I usually do this at night, but because we only got here halfway through the day yesterday, I didn't have enough to justify doing a charge. These are little dual GoPro chargers. Plug everything in to the power banks. I have like just a zip tie bag that I keep separate so I know which ones have been used. Made a little sand free zone here with the shorts, clean shorts. Hour and a half and they'll all be green and ready to go again. All right. Sun cream, and we're gonna rig up a special rod now. I'm gonna rig up one of those rods with eight pound leader. So, make one of them has 10, and that was the one that was getting all the hits, but we're gonna go eight. <laughs> and we can teabag the can honey hole. The goofy one? No, I'm gonna make a new goof ball. The ZX was hooking up on the butteries. You hooked one. Oh, yeah. That's the thing is the ZX with the little sting rod hooks off the back. It's very hooky. Hooky. Eight pound. I brought it on this trip thinking, if the brim are really shut down, what is going to hook them? Look how thin it is. Could you not just like snap it? Yeah, it's just so like strong still. Eight pounds, so you could lift oh, three and a half okay. kilos with it. That's a good size brim, isn't it? God, that's a big brim, but still no lifty. Yeah. So if you hook up, we land. Like I'm going to grab the fish, yeah. like GT land it. <laughs> Butter brim. Butter brim you can lift. <laughs> oh, this is scary. If it touches a rock, it's up. If it touches an oyster when you're hooked up, it is bloody over. Are you going to be on the eight or me? Oh, I'll be on the eight. 
Uh, yeah, okay, you want to hook them, though. Yeah, Look, now we're down to just five litres. No more tees, eh? Yeah. <laughs> five litres is five kilos, yeah. I don't, I don't think tees actually hydrate because they're diuretic. Yeah, bar the tees. On a high end, tees aren't unlevel. I think that on the eight pound you should do the tiny plucky and we'll yeah. customize it i'm going to put on this <laughs> zx 43 so it's a bit bigger but i actually wouldn't mind like a solid brim so nate is going to put on a 1 16th jig head and customize a plastic to be ultra tea bag hole butter brim ready It should work. That looks trimmed down, bro. We've got the tuna set up, which tuna set up, it's 20 pounds set up. We're gonna have it sitting on the rocks while we go to the tea bag hole. Dad's got 10 pound leader and uh, ZX43. Ganada has a cut down 2.5 inch plastic, which is more like a two, eight pound leader. <laughs> I've never done eight pound leader before. To some people that's probably like heavy tuck. Surely not. No. But we know there's fish hiding in the little tea bag hole. You get first cast, I reckon, with that for maximum chance of hooking something. Yeah. And then we'll just go to town on them once. No pepper. Sonny and Mama looking for starfish in the rock pools. Let's check your drag real quick. We'll just check because we were going for Taylor. Mm. I think that's okay. Yeah. Because if you get a big one, you'll want to slide it a bit. It's so low. Oh, I see stuff already. What's that guy? Mediocre. That was good, man. What you did then was good, but I'd do a few. Still more. getting hits. On. Yes. On. Buttery. Buttery. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> yeah, bro. Come up here. Come up here. How sick are Butterbrim? They're pretty cool looking. Get a hold up with this. You customise that lure for a Butterbrim, bro. Canada got a Butterbrim. Yeah. <laughs> First ever Butterbrim. Run and grab the water camera. It's in the top of the bag. He's a cutie patootie. He is a very cutie patootie. They're such pretty little Can fish. Can I catch him? Yeah, he has a spike on his underneath. Touch Aww. him on top. He's so cute. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they're sporty. Catch them. Gentle. You don't want to rub too much because they have a slime on them. So you don't want to rub too put much them slime up, off. Put them over there. Look at that. How pretty the colour is. It kind of looks like an angel fish. Yeah. We'll just go here. Out of there, straight back to the hole. Yeah, it's gonna tell us, mates. It works yeah. like we cut cut it down, we put the eight pound leader, we got the butter brim. Now we want the brim brim. Yeah, you're rolling. Go again, try and get a brim. Yeah. Oh, on, on, butter. another buddy. Now the butter. <laughs> Cancel. What's I got it. Where's the starfishes? They'll hook up. Same, same thing. Oh! Nate dropped him. Nate, let him go, let him go. He'll swim out. Daddy will swim straight away here. That was perfect relief. I mean, like you dropped him dropped in the water. But... <laughs> You rolling? Yeah, go no, going that way. Oh, <laughs> snaggle. <laughs> Instant. Oh, 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 you got something. <laughs> oh, what are they called? Um, I don't know what that is, but it's tiny.
He went and rejoined his mates. They were actually up the surface there. Oh, where'd you go? Okay. All right, let's go again. Dropped it. It was on the sink. So I just cast out as far as it can straight out this way. Let it sink. Please come on. They're back. I might go a little fast. Were you getting nibbed? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so thing is smoking you. It's a bigger one of those things. What a weird fish. Look at this thing. What are these? Can someone tell me what this is? I've no idea what that is. Ew. What are those little guys? Yeah, Nady. Yeah, bro. What is she? Oh, it's solid, mate. Smoke it up, smoke it up. Keep it away from the rock. Smoke. Oh! That was big, man. That was a big brim. Look at this danger cast. Come on. Oh, big on. Are you? Yes. I gotta get it over that ledge, bro. I, I hooked it out over that ledge. I got it past it though. Okay. Phew! What do you reckon? Oh! Silver Trevally! Silver Trevally, they're really good eating. Phew! Tiny Silver Trevally. If we got a big one of these, it'd be fully being dented. Silver Trevally, back to the depths. Okay, Sonny, I'm gonna cast out for you. Okay. I'll then tweak it. I'll oh, just let it sink and then tweak. So like a soft plastic. Yeah, Sonny, you're on. Yes. You're on. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, you were. You fully got a hit, eh? Yeah. Uh, wind it up. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I still smell like that bustle table. Hey? Yep. Yes. Bigger. Oh, bro. Watch out, watch out. One in, one in, one in. Oh, no. You go back from the edge, Sonny. That was huge. That was massive. It just took me right around that corner, smoked me straight away. Oh, got to retire. That unfortunately was a very, very, very large fish. Like I'm calling it 10 kilo plus by the way it moved and the weight of it. It could have been a big king, man. Kingy. Yeah, it could have been a kingy. Kingy, Jewfish, something along those lines. Couching a kingy. No chance on this setup. Well, we just got smoked on a ZX. We're gonna put on another ZX. 16 pound leader this time. Not that it would have made any difference because that thing was just destroyer of light tackle. I'm gonna get rid of this makeshift little plastic and then put on the super tiny ZX. What's your reasoning? The tiny little hooks should actually get the miniature fish that keep hitting this thing, but are too small to actually get hooked. We're back on. We want brim, basically. We want, we want to catch a brim. We don't want to catch a massive king. All right, we're back out there. New ZX, pink one. I don't want to hook whatever I hooked before. That thing was a monster. Yep. Oh. 
Another one of these cool looking little fellas. Still don't know where they are. Phew. We'll just put them here. Don't forget them. I don't forget. Sometimes I do forget. I don't know what happened. It's yellow, yellow. Oh, oh. I think it was a yaka. Did it? Is it not? Nah, here we are. Yeah. Oh! Ty, it's another super small one. Oh, never mind. Wait. Oh! Silver Trevally, I think. Okay, good boy. Mate, he got a big one. That's a good one, man. I reckon he's almost big enough to eat. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to release him. I think they have to be 30. Yeah, okay. That's like a barrel. Oh, look at the whale. That's sick. We're going to cruise over to this side. Oh, potential turban snail zone. Yeah, have a little look in the crabs. And oh, yeah, 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 we're on. Oh, we're on. We're super on. Oh, that. I don't know if they're alive. They, they yeah. They're... Oh yeah, he's, oh. he's alive. Oh wow. What is that? That is the yummiest sashimi you'll ever eat. Can, are we gonna eat them? Yeah, we can. They, um, oh, he's got a sea yeah. anemone attached oh, to him. I'm putting wait. him back. Is that one below me? Like in between my legs? Yeah, there's one down there. There's another here. There's so many. Yeah. Two. Two's enough. Can you cook them as well? You can cook them. Oh, there's more down there. Can you uh, I don't want to decimate the yeah, population. Yeah. It's just for a taste. It's just so I you... Have, I have a... Is that a big whale before? Yeah, it shot straight up and just went boom. We'll put them in here for now. Alright, so we got two turbans. There's a bunch of them down in that crab. There's there's some there. Look. Oh that one's huge! I think these ones are huge. You watching for me? Yeah, it's pretty much flat. To me. That one's pretty big. One. Nah, that other one's little. Yeah. You put that with the other one. Oh, this one's pretty big. I'm over here. Stop it on here. Put them in the pool with the other ones, okay? I can't believe how many there are. Wow. That's rad. Oh my god, we got a monster. Okay. Let's eat fry them up. Oh, 
We can we can cook them, but you just slice them really What's thin. That little bit. That's the swirls you find on the beach. You know the spiral flat spirals you can find on the beach. That's that. Oh wow. Yeah. And they just let that go. Oh look at him. There's the rig. Big big muscle. Put them in the same pool so we he know where they scared, are. Okay? Though, eh? Oh, he thinks you're a rock. Gentle, gentle. We might. We'll only keep a couple. We're not going to keep all of them. We'll keep the two big ones. Grass, bro. Beautiful grass. I'm gonna release him. Look at that swimming hole. Oh, he's tripping. <laughs> He just went vertical down and then swam under a rock. What a weirdo. Oh, he's tripping. He just went vertical down and then swam under a rock. <laughs> Definitely weird. All right, Natty, let's go back to the big ledge. We got to try and catch dinner. I'll just put on a little metal. Potential tail up, but main target, silver trap. It's gonna stop me hooking all these weird little chub things and stuff and focus more on bigger, eatier, yummier things. No, you try, try here first. That's good sign. Hey. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, it's on a metal, so it has to be good, yeah. bro. I think Silver Trev. See the Silver Trev or Tylee? Yeah, running towards. Running towards us. Tyler? I don't know, can't see. Oh, it's hot. It's deep. Oh. Silver Trev. Oh, it's big. That's dinner, bro. Okay, I'm going li to lift it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, it's solid. Yeah, it's, that's, over that's over 30 for yeah. sure. First cast with the metal on the bommy. I reckon he's 32. It's 33, Sanny. Oh, I'm so stoked we got some food, man. Yeah. We're halfway to dinner. We've got some snails and a silver trevally, which I've only ever had silver trevally once. So it was the yummiest thing ever. Struggle. You are struggle street, bro. I love that there's just silver trevally population here. Is there normally not? Oh, I've only ever hooked like probably three of them my whole life. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty special fish. On a tuna? How how far were the where's the tuna? Right there, right there there was splashes. It might not be tuna, but there was stuff like How you're on big bro. How big was the hit? It, I, it wasn't a hit, they all got scared and like scattered. Oh, another silver! Another silver! Size? That's Decent! Not, enough, not, not big enough? enough? Gentle tipless tipless, that's big enough bro! 
That's big enough. Yeah, well, let's go measure him. Okay. Where was the splash and how big was it? It's probably just Taylor busting up there. Yeah. Again, no, that, that's tuna. That's a, that's a bird. <laughs> that's tuna. <laughs> nah, 29. Nah, 29. Do you want me to release it? Yeah, do you can? Yeah, I've got the water can. This is about to be connected up in the next few minutes, so I'm just gonna release him in here. Should be a beautiful shot of him swimming off. Sick man. Yeah. Oh, so you reckon Tyler? Well, it kind of looked like what was happening over there. Smaller scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably Tyler. If bait jump, it can even just be like a dart chasing bait. Yeah, and they all just freak out. Oh, well, that was nearly dinner. Pretty quiet, we've been casting for a while. The sun's nearly set. 2.5 inch bait junkie. One eighth jig head. Hopefully dinner coming up. And we got the one silver trevally chilling in a tide pool. We've got a couple of snails. We found like many, many snails, but we're just gonna keep two of them. It'd be great if we have one more fish. So I'm gonna try and catch another silver trevally. I'll just pepper around the zones we were hooking them. Yes! Good fish. Good fish. Good fish, now the Trevally. I'm calling him 30. I think he's 30, bro. I think he'd be just 30, eh? I think he's 30. 31. 31, 31 Senny. 31, 32. All right, two silver Trevally for dinner. Pack up. Oh, pack up. Cold, get the jackets on. Next thing you'll see, we'll be cleaning fish and getting fires started. Whew. Look at this rock. This perfect square rock. If that's not a filleting table, I don't know what is. So we've got a two silver trevally, two turban snails. I'm having a little moment here, eh? like calm down the winds died off squatting down in water with a perfect little fillet in table beautiful meal from the ocean that is a chunk of trevally more meat on these than the tailor and these are shorter than the tailor too the way i've been doing this I'm sure you noticed if you've been watching the film. Uh, I've been getting rid of the rib cage and separating that out because I'm like okay to pick through the bones and eat that myself. Give the kids and Sarah a nice home caught fish experience, especially on a smaller fish like these. Oh, that's going to be so tasty. Give me some happy little fishies when they come in on high tide and find all these scraps. Might take a couple tries. Yeah. Oh, did it snap? Here. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a bit more. Snapped again. Do you want another to just to do it? No. No? Yeah. No. Here. Here, I'll fluff this up. <laughs> <laughs> 
here. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna light it. Yeah, that got it going. If you ever see those on the beach, those spirals, flat spirals, they're from the turban snails. I've got my one of my turban snails mates in there and I'm filling in up the last piece here. I've pretty much overstayed my welcome on this rock as you can see the tide's banging it in. The fire is probably nearly ready to cook on. Last little bit of fillet in here and we're gonna head up. All right, fillet in's done. Do you want to keep these, Sarah? If you clean them up, they'll be these beautiful spirals. Oh, that's those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, was, I love this. See how big those ones are compared to the ones yeah. you find? Is anyone game to try it, sashimi? Yes, it's hard. It's like yeah, it's tough. It's tough, but the taste. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did you get the flavour? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boneless silver trevally fillet. This will be really interesting to compare to uh, Taylor we had earlier. Do you want me to put on one snail for you, Mama? Yes, you don't want to go long on the snail? No, we didn't keep notice because at the time we didn't know. You remember you had to come back and look up if, what size it was, Sonny? You get Mum to look it up? Yeah, These yeah. are 100% done. Did they get softer or harder? They probably get really tough, I think, Ooh. if you cook them. I definitely think it's more comfortable with the tents down there. Yeah, you boys should move your tent down too. Yeah, we'll I'll try some of this. Are you going to try this now? Mm -hmm. Could I taste a little bit of it? Mm -hmm. You want to feed me? Yum. That I mind. Okay, I'm done. Mmm. I like the texture even. It's yeah. chewy, but it feels like Great, substantial. Like. It's nicer yeah. than the... Taylor in some ways, but then the tailor just the texture of the tailor is so perfect. So soft. It's a bit firmer, eh? Yeah. Oh, look at that scale sizzle there. Are these all boneless? Yeah, they're all boneless. You having a taste? Yeah. I way prefer this. Really? Mm. Do you prefer Taylor or do you like Silver Trevally? Trevally. You like the Trevally? Yeah. I think I like Taylor. That's really good because Taylor are easy. Easy. So you can eat as much as you want. Oh, here's your snail. Where did the other snail go? I ate it. Was it good? Yeah, it was really good. I way preferred it cooked. Alright. Everything going in now. Dad's wings. Ribs. Dad's ribs. It's not the wings, it's the ribs. And the rest of the snail. The consensus is they prefer the snail cooked. So we're putting in all the little snail bits. Is there another one of those brown rice things? Yeah. We'll put it in here again, yeah? Yeah. Look at all that snail. Do you want some? Yes, please. Mm. Can I have some? <laughs> you want snail? Wow. It's really good taste. Mmm, it reminds me of a scallop. But like even stronger. Well, now we have this cooking. Whenever we find snails, cook them. I don't think we'll fish tomorrow morning because we've got four litres of water left and we've got to hike for many hours to get yeah. back to the car. So I don't think we're going to use energy fishing in the morning. We're just going to get up, eat brekkie, start okay. the hike. Yeah. It was a good little mission, good little trip. I can't believe I hooked a long tail tuna this morning. Yeah. And then that kingy thing that I hooked yeah. during the day. Double big. Double smoking for Brittany. It always happens to me. Right, we're going to finish eating this, eat some rice, get a good night's sleep, hike all the way home. Hope you all enjoyed the film. Full moon, mate. Woo!